Today, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Streamlit app on Plumber. The Plumber platform makes it quick and easy to deploy Streamlit, but also other Python web app frameworks such as Shiny Dash Panel and Solara. You can upload web apps through the Plumber website or alternatively using the command line. And if your web app lives on GitHub, you can also deploy directly using GitHub Actions. To start, first go to plumber.io and create an account. Next, once you're logged in, click New at the top left of the Applications page. Now on the Create page, we're going to select Create a New Application. Then we'll scroll down to the Framework section and select Streamlit. After that, we'll scroll down to the Source Code section. This is where we can drag and drop a compressed file with our Streamlit app.py and requirements.txt files. Once our code is uploaded, we scroll down to the Advanced section. This is where you can choose the number of CPUs, the amount of RAM, and the amount of GPUs for your project. I'm going to choose the default of half a CPU and two gigabytes of RAM. Now we can click Create and wait for the app to compile and deploy. I'm going to speed up the video here, but it took about two minutes for Plumber to deploy this basic Streamlit app after I clicked Create. So let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of Plumber. First, if you're just coding with Streamlit as a small hobby, stick to the Streamlit Community Cloud since it offers everything you need. On the other hand, if you want to deploy your Streamlit app to the internet using a custom domain, or if you want to keep the code base of your Streamlit app private, or if you want to limit access to a small group of users, then Plumber has its advantages. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below and make sure to like and subscribe for more data science videos.